Okay, guys, it says that I'm live, so my internet should be working. If you can see me and hear me, let me know. I'm going to show you. I'm just working on this, so I thought I'd go live because it's um, it's just, it's going to be such an easy project, but I thought I'd show you how we fix this. So if you watched the video from <clears throat> a couple weeks ago, maybe even longer than that, I found this huge cloche. It's, it's massive. It's, it's huge. And I haven't been able to use it because I didn't know when I bought it, I found it in the thrift store. It had like packaging tape all over it just so it was secure and wasn't going to bust in the thrift store. So when I got home and took it off of, took the tape off, um, it didn't fit. So there was a, just one ring around here. And then the inside was flush with this top layer. So when the glass sat on there, it was like this. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like the ring needed to be bigger. <clears throat> so I, Matt's like, oh, I can fix that. I'll just use my router. And so he thought he was going to go in and do like a, another ring, but he just used the router, you guys, and made this all one level. So I told him that I could paint this. I didn't, that was fine. So it's not like it had to be, um, I wasn't going to stain it. So I'm going to paint it one of my favorite colors from Dixie Belle paint, but he just used the router to make it all, uh, one level inside here. So now it works fine. It'll sit in there without it moving. Uh, and it's stable. I wanted to show get, show an example of how they usually are, but the two that I have in our house are actually like this. And then we're getting ready for a huge, um, like a yard sale. So the other ones that I'm getting rid of are packed away. So I can't show you what, what this was, but I did share this one after I got it. And there was this, it. So if you're at a thrift store and it's taped together, um, it may not fit, but this was, I mean, I think it took Matt five minutes, really. He just, the router, he just went back and forth, took all that out, and now it's just flush. Um, it's flush. He sanded it a little bit, and it's it's clear. So he, by clear, I mean, if you sand anything you're going to paint, make sure you wipe it off with a tack cloth or a damp cloth. Make sure it's dry before you put any paint on it. You just don't want any of that sanding, like the residue. There's a guy in the front yard. I'm just wondering if they're doing something with the trees. Okay, so all I'm gonna do, you guys, super simple, but you don't have to keep the things that you find um, like they are, but I thought I would come in here and just paint with you guys today. And I'm using one of my favorite, favorite paint colors from Dixie Belle Paint, collard green. It's kind of like that army, like good green. You know, every green is good. No, I shouldn't say that. Not every green is very good. I just love green. So I'm just going to, can you guys see that? I'm just going to paint this. Um, and then I don't know what I'm gonna put in this one or if I am if I will keep this one. I haven't decided yet. I just don't know if I have a space for it. It's so big. So uh, the hutch upstairs is full already. Um, and the shelves down here in our living or our family room are full. So I just don't know if I have a spot for it, but I needed to paint this anyway. So I thought I would come on here and show. We have, you know, like a router. I know a lot of people may not have them and we have gotten tools over the years just with every little project we've done. We obviously didn't get them all at once. We got the ones that we needed the most or used the most at once, or not at once, but in the beginning, but then things like a router. Matt was excited to get a router because he wanted to try different things with it, but it worked perfect for this project. Um, I will not, so Dixie Bell Paint's really great for adhering to pieces. Uh, this color, I'm not worried. It's a lighter wood, so I'm not worried that it's going to bleed through, so I didn't use any of the boss or anything. Um, I'm just painting right over it, and then I, it'll probably, I can tell already, it's going to take a couple coats, but, but yeah, so the router, so I guess my tip for today is, if you're at a thrift store and find one of these, make sure that it fits on its stand and then um, make sure that it, and if it doesn't, it, this was an easy fix. I mean, if you didn't have a router, I don't know how else. I asked him, cause I didn't even think about the router. I said, are you gonna chisel that, you know, just with a hammer and a chisel, do you know what those are? I'm like, that's gonna be a mess. And that's gonna, it's gonna be 
more than it's worth at that point. And he said, no, I think the router will just take it all out. And it did. So, I mean, you could definitely, if you had a chisel, chisel that all out and then sand it smooth, I guess. But um, this worked great. So yeah, that's all I'm going to do. I will, I was going to tell you this too. So since this, the glass top, I can never paint without getting it on me. Ever, ever. Even a small little circle. Anybody else a messy painter? Ugh. Um, I am going to put on the top coat on this. And the reason I'm going to do it on this is because the glass does kind of move and I will be, or if I'm, I'm getting rid of it, but it'll, you know, putting things in and out of it, you will constantly be kind of moving it around. So I will put a top coat on it so it doesn't, doesn't chip or, and make sure you get all the excess paint out of that groove. I just noticed I had some in there. That wouldn't be good because then the glass won't fit in there. There we go. It wants to collect just in that side there. Okay. What? Oh, you're right, I did. You're right. I got some on my sweatshirt. So, you know, it's not, <laughs> it's not a painting day unless I've got it all over the place. It's just a small spot, so hopefully I will get that out. H happy rainy Tuesday. It is, it's gonna be raining here for like 10 days. The guy out front wants to see how you're painting it. Yeah. We have a new, like the camera things. And so I'm, I'm just learning the whole, the beeps and the rings and the, all of that. So it's, um, but we've had a lot of guys around that are doing new poles, I think electrical poles. And then we've got still, they have not picked up the tree that they took down out front, which is so frustrating. But so we've had a lot of workers around our streets and stuff. So, and usually they come along my, right here, my office window. So I was just waiting for him to do that. <clears throat> Oh, this brush, this brush. So it's a, somebody asked, what is the name of the brush you are using? This is the zebra uh, paintbrush. It's the two inch. They have a Palm Pro and this is the two inch one. These brushes are so good. I can definitely give you a link to these. Uh, they have so many styles and I use them for everything. Uh, all of our flip houses, we use them. All of my projects, I use them. They have a triangle brush, a round brush, a square brush. They really thought about what a painter needed and made brushes to accommodate all those things. So I love that because I bought so many brushes that um, that I've wasted money on. And so these, once I found these, and these littler ones, I have smaller hands. And so these just fit in my hand better. Sometimes my hand, if I'm doing a lot of painting, my hand will cramp up and using like bigger brushes and stuff, it's just, it's worse. So I like these little brushes uh, that can just fit in my hand easily. And then I can maneuver them easily. And these, <clears throat> I don't use any tape anymore. Like if I'm taping or painting walls, I do all the trim. Matt usually does all the rolling and I don't use any tape anymore. So that saves us money and time on that, that part of painting. But, uh, so yeah, I really like them. I can give you a link if you, if you need one. So let me know. And I, in the message and message me and then I, I can get it to you. But, but yeah, so I, what I will do is I will put on another, uh, coat of this. I will not sand in between nothing like that. I'm just going to put on another coat to get it more covered I don't know if you guys can see, I'm not going to lift it because I'm already full of paint, but um, you can kind of see a little bit of the, of the wood coming through. So it does need another coat. Dixie Belle paint is great though. It does. I used to, when I first started this, I used wall paint. I mean, that's just all we had on hand and that's what I had. So when I was doing furniture and stuff, I would use wall paint, but these paints, they're made for these kinds of projects. And so they cover so well. So usually, um, Okay, I will send, okay. You know what I'll do? I will just, um, I will post it in my stories then. I will just post a photo of the brush and then I do a swipe up for the brush so then I'm not having to message. I'll just do that in my stories. So check my stories after this, after I get done painting, I'll put it on there. Um, but yeah, so then I won't sand. It covers really well. If this was like a red uh, or something really, really orange, then I would probably use like their Boss product. It's, it's, it's a, so it doesn't bleed through, <clears throat> but 
Um, since this was so much lighter, I didn't have to do that. So it's, it's really easy, easy projects. And then you can customize whatever you find, uh, whatever you find to, to fit your style and what you like. I think I am doing another thrifting thing this, the end of, at the end of this week. So stay tuned for that. There was a couple of other things. Um, I can't remember what else I was going to talk about, but hmm. We think we found, we did find, if you guys saw that piece that I just shared, you guys can check the live. It should be saved on my page, but um, that amazing piece I found last week, it's still sitting in the living room, not hung up, but uh, it was a piece to a dresser. Um, somebody had found that and it was, it looks exactly like what I have. And there was, it looks like a mirror that slid in behind the glass. So I kind of think that I want to find a mirror well, I guess we could just go to our hardware store and get a mirror cut. And then we can slide it down through that slot, hopefully. And then Matt, there's one of the pieces that are, it's missing in the back. So we would just have to make that so it's secure. And then um, either hang on to it until I find a place to hang it or take something else down and, and, and hang it. But it's so cool. I'm so excited about it. I thought about maybe putting some of the Restore fin restore a finish on the top. I'm going to try that in some areas and I'll share that with you guys in stories or something. I'm just worried that it's going to ruin the patina that it has right now, but there are some areas where you can tell it's like bare where other decorative pieces were on. So I would, it'd be awesome if I could get the color of what it looks like onto those bare pieces, but all those bare areas, but we'll see who knows, but I'll share that in stories or <clears throat> Okay. Oh, also alive with the house. Yes. I'm going to walk you guys through our house. Things got a little crazy this weekend. We had spring break last weekend. So we, the kids were, um, home and a lot of the times they don't want to be on or, uh, so they're dodging me as I'm walking through the house. Um, and then one of the kids wasn't feeling well this weekend. And so it just, it just, it wasn't a great time to do it. So I do plan on doing that though. So uh, I will do, I mean, I could just do it in stories, but I thought a live would be better than if you guys could kind of ask questions while I'm live and then I could answer them right away. But I will definitely do that here soon. I did not forget about that. So, okay. Does anybody have any questions? This is just a simple, I just thought I'd get on and just kind of share how I do these things. Um, I found this at a thrift store. I can't, I don't even remember what, how much it was. It was inexpensive. It's huge. It's one of the bigger ones. And then it wasn't fitting. So those of you that are just um, joining, it wasn't fitting. So the ring that was inside on this wood base, it was too small. So the it was taped when I bought it, so I didn't know. Uh, so the glass was always moving. So it would have busted. It would have fallen off and busted. So Matt just took a router. I just painted this so I can't lift it. But he just took a router and took out all the middle part. So it wasn't a ring, but yet a flat surface inside. And um, then he sanded it. And then uh, now I'm just painting it. One of my favorite colors from Dixie Belle Paint. Um, I will put a couple coats on this and then I will do a top coat. That's always a question. I will do a top coat on this because you will be moving it around. Um, so it, it'll probably chip or wear, which I kind of like that stuff. But, um, but so yeah, so that's why I will use a hello from Brazil. That is awesome. Great as a centerpiece. Yeah, for so many things. You can do use these for so many things and all year round. I'm always looking for stuff that I can use all year round because it, this will look totally different in at Christmas or December than it would um than it would like at Easter time. You can fill it with nests and eat eggs and that kind of stuff. So I love pieces like that in your house because you're not having to store a bunch of things for every single season and holiday, right? So you can leave the same things out, but you just change what's inside or, um, or how they are. And then it's, it's, uh, different. It's different. It looks different. It looks like you redecorated the whole place and you really, you just added a few things here and there. Where do I buy the Dixie Bell paint? I can give you a link for that as well. So after this, I will get on and I will share a link in stories. So go to stories and I'll share a link for the paint brushes, which are amazing. And the Dixie Bell paint, um, I will leave a link for those for those as well. Do you have any other questions? Sometimes I feel like I shouldn't get on here when it's just a simple project, but uh, 
But then sometimes I feel like, well, I don't have to just get on and share like long drawn out projects. So, um, so yeah, you guys can let me know if these are helpful. Okay. I'm going to hop off, finish, finally get this done and then get some other stuff done. So how you're welcome. Thank you. Thanks. I will do those links right after this. So what is today? It's Tuesday, right? I'm, why am I, I have been a day ahead forever. I, yesterday I thought it was Tuesday. Today I keep thinking it's Wednesday, but okay. All right, guys, I'm going to hop off and have a great rest of your day.